After Jesus died, he rose, and he appeared to many. At the end of 40 days, when it was time for Jesus to return to heaven, Jesus gathered his friends and took them outside of Jerusalem and up the Mount of Olives. Then he lifted up his hands and blessed them. Because I died and rose from the dead, you get to know God and be with him forever. But this good news is not just for you, it's for everyone, everywhere. And you have the very important job of sharing this good news with the whole world. When you return to Jerusalem, you must wait until I send the Holy Spirit to be with you. He is the one who will give you the power to tell the whole world about me. Then Jesus said, I have to say goodbye to you now, and go to be with my Father in heaven. But it's okay, you won't be alone. I will be with you always. And then Jesus was taken up into heaven. As he ascended, the disciples watched until a cloud hid him from their sight, and they were alone again. But this time his friends weren't sad, they were full of joy. For they knew the good news, and they knew God's plan for them. And they knew Jesus was sending them the Holy Spirit, so they would never be alone. And so they went back to Jerusalem to wait, praising God all the way. When they arrived, they all joined together in prayer, along with the women, and Mary the mother of Jesus, and with his brothers. A few days later, on the day of Pentecost, all the believers were gathered together. Suddenly, they heard a sound that came from heaven. It was like a mighty rushing wind, and it filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw something that looked like fire in the shape of tongues that separated and came to rest on each of them. The Holy Spirit had come. Jesus was with them once again, but in a new and better way than ever before. He wasn't just with them, his spirit was in them. Immediately, the disciples went out into the city full of joy to share with everyone the mighty works of God. The Spirit even gave them the power to speak in many different languages so that everyone could hear the good news of Jesus. On that day, Peter spoke before a huge crowd and about 3,000 people heard the good news about Jesus and they believed. The Holy Spirit came on each of them. They repented and were baptized and became followers of Jesus. This was the beginning of the church. Each and every day, the Lord adds new believers to his church. The church continues to share God's message with the world and to serve others by the power of the Holy Spirit.